Okay, so here's, here's oh, one. I saw it's a big though. It's a big question. I think it's a good one for us because I think we can relate. To oh, it's for yes. I think it's an us question. If it's for yes, well, yes. Yeah, I think it's an us question. So there's a question and then they give an example, like for more information okay. to go with the question. So it's one question. So I'll look, read the question first and then I'll read the other part. You're being so serious. Yeah, because you like... <laughs> Is it a serious like, question? Well, no, well, kind of, but sometimes... <laughs> 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 <It's going on>. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes you're like, there's so much information you give me. Oh, right, 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 so I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. preparing you that I'm going to okay. give you a lot of words. <laughs> anyway, of words. okay, words. so here's the words. question first. Uh -huh. How How do you work through clashing neurodivergent traits? Okay, it's a simple question. How do I? We, like I'm thinking- You and I or me yeah. with others? Well, like us, I'm guessing. So here, here I'm gonna re give you more information. Okay. So I don't know if y'all have any, but myself and my youngest do. It's a topic I see like nothing about. For example, I don't want to suppress her repeating words, sounds, in case it's a STEM thing, but it triggers my misophonia, which is like, you know, sound intolerance. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so it's been heck to navigate. So I was wondering if y'all had any thoughts. So clashing, clashing neurodivergent traits. Traits. Yeah. So like sensory issues is a big one. Clashing sensory issues. Okay. It, this, I swear you could do this whole interview by yourself. I know. <laughs> you. I'm um, helping. I'm leading. So. Do we have clashing sensory issues? Yes. Definitely. Whether it's brightness or low light, cold hot environment mm -hmm. other things <laughs> yeah sometimes the communication things will clash with one another the way david communicates the way i communicate <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it, the way we understand things is a th is an issue also i i don't know about you but like when i feel like i'm communicating clearly and even if i'm not or if i don't know how to communicate any more clearly or like i feel like i'm not being heard i get really really frustrated frustrated really hard. quickly yep really they'll get frustrated quickly yeah and, I'm like, yeah. oh, and then and then I don't know what to do about it because, like I swear I answered you. <laughs> and I'm like I swear I it's just like you're you're not answering me. And I'm like, I but to answer the question though, we do have clashing whatever that traits, traits. traits. traits yeah. How do we deal with them, dude? We have to take a time out. Yeah. We have to take a time out. Um, yeah. If it's if it's if it's too cold, for lyric. Well, we have to make it hot and I have to deal with the heat and then we'll just switch it over. It'll be cold for a little bit and Lyric will, you know, we, we just have to trade off. Yeah. We have to trade off. I'll have to sacrifice or, or suffer being hot for a few minutes, maybe even five minutes and then turn it up again, cold. And Lyric will have to suffer being cold for like five minutes and then we'll switch off again. There's no other way that we know how to do is we have to provide for each other when it comes to needing space we live in an rv <laughs> there's not a lot of listen space. there's not a lot of space but there is space you know if you if you need to lock yourself in the bathroom and take your phone with you and just sit on the toilet while <laughs> not doing your business but you know to hide a lock in to room. hide hide in but the room. we have a bedroom like you can go actually you don't have to lock yourself in the bathroom you yeah, can you lock can yourself to, in the bedroom you can go to the bedroom or there's a loft up there a loft, yeah you just uh, i don't like, I don't have to escape Lyric. Are you sure? I'm annoying. I, I have to it. escape now. <laughs> I am sensory overload. Um, <laughs> okay. Lyric. I don't know how long this video is going to be. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be a bunch of little videos. Lyric likes to talk a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lyric likes to talk a lot. I don't even and, mean, I, don't and, even, I just do. I don't even know if right. I like it. It's just it's what I do. I don't know. <laughs> I can't control okay. it even. So Lyric talks a lot. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know when I should be paying attention. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you should. Like, are you talking to me or are you talking to yourself? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not talking to you. Leave right, right, right. <laughs> so there's some times when Lyric will go off and up and talk. Like, if we're driving somewhere and I'm driving and Lyric's in the passenger side. Lyric's talking and talking and talking. I don't know when Lyric's talking to me. 
<laughs> and needs a response. <laughs> and I'll just ignore it until Lyric turns, well, what do you think? You know? So it's <laughs> kind of, I don't know what this has to do with anything. Cellophane, they call, call me cellophane. Because David is like, I'll say something, and then like two seconds later, David will say the same thing. I'm like, I just said that. <laughs> All the freaking time. Did you see the cow standing on the roof of the barn? And two seconds later, Dave, Dave then, will be like, there's a cow on the roof of the barn. I'm like, like I just said that. But I do the same thing to you. But this has nothing to do with differences, though. <laughs> no, we just got off track. We got off track a little bit. But Larry I mean, does that. Yeah, it's okay. This, uh, what was the thing again? The question just turned into three questions. <laughs> we answered the question, then we went on and gave extra. Did we actually answer yeah, it? Yeah, we answered the question. We totally answered the question. I was asking like how we deal with competing sensory differences. So it's like, we've got to have our separate space or if it's a sound sensitivity, like the dogs trigger my sound stuff a lot. So it's like, I have noise canceling headphones or I can put on headphones, listen to music, go for a walk, get away, like create that space, go take a break in the room or whatever. Uh, so like all of that is like, you've got to kind of create your own space respect each other and say hey i'm gonna go take a break <laughs> i'm not mad at you i just need a break <laughs> i need to go take a break i'm gonna go I'm leaving you I take myself out of the yeah, yeah, sensory yeah, yeah. break like remove myself from the situation right so it doesn't become an explosive situation right because that would be bad but you got to give the other person their time mm -hmm. again back referring back to the heat thing if lyric needs heat i have to suffer the five minutes give them heat and then if it gets too hot for me i got to turn on the ac and Lyric has to suffer with the mm -hmm. AC. You put a blanket with more clothes on. Yeah, like I'm a little cold right now, but I want you to be comfortable because you're already uncomfortable because you're doing this video right now. So Thank it's you. like, yeah, I don't want you to also have sensory overload. Putting me in the situation, I said. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but I don't want you to also have sensory overload and like be kind of like in an uncomfortable situation. Right, right, because what'll happen? I will walk away. Yeah. I will walk away. And I don't think I can blame you. Right. That would be too much. So it's like, I'm compromising. And it's like, I can stim and like pet the dog who's warm and like i'll be okay like i can i can be okay for a little bit it's not it's only a little bit too cold for me just a slightly slightly too cold and when the breeze stops blowing it's okay it's just every now and then that breeze kicks in it's like oh dang, dang. it is dang it's a little chilly in the desert